See, a lot of times we have not because we ask not. One question you should always ask God for is inner healing, even if you're not sure if you even need any, because there are things you have forgotten. Let me share this story. I have a friend who was molested by a family member when they were a little kid. They didn't remember. One day they were at the sink doing the dishes. They were attending healing streams, ministries, and they were already stirring up that the, the, the juices because healing streams is all about inner healing. So they're doing the dishes, just an ordinary mundane run-of-the-mill uh, activity for the day. Nothing exciting, nothing world-shaking or mind-blowing, just doing the dishes. What does God do? In his mind, in his infinite wisdom, he says, now is the time to deal with that. And she has a flashback, detailed blow by blow of the experience. And she has to turn the water off, sit down and bawl her eyes out. Why? because God decided it was time to heal that area of brokenness that she never remembered until that very moment. She had so thoroughly blocked it out of her mind. See, many of you think, listen, you two, many of you think that because you can block things out of your head, out of sight, out of mind, but it's not out of your spirit. It's still eating away at you like the little Pac-Man just eating away at your very fiber. It's eating away at, at, at your good disposition. It's eating away and you don't realize it's like a cancer just taking over your body. And you wonder why your fuse is so short, why you backhand somebody or why you're ready to fight at the drop of a hat, why you can't stop cussing people out when they barely do anything that rubs you the wrong way. You wonder why you're so confrontational, why you're so on the edge, on edge. Why you're so uptight, strung out. Why you're so high strung. Because of the scars that you refuse to address. There are some things you have done that you feel guilty for. You have not addressed those areas. You need to take those areas to the Lord as well. See, God, this is what I love about God. He's holy. As the word says, he is kadistu holy. Totally perfect with, with no defect. However, he is humble as well. You can see that through the characteristics and behavior of Jesus Christ. So what God does is he wants to get in your life. Let's, I love this expression. Yes, I created it, but it's dramatic and I'm a drama queen. So go with it. He loves to reach his holy, glorious, loving hand and dip it and reach down into your cesspool of horrors. Just like reaching into a stopped up toilet full of mess. And God will stick his bare hand in your mess and pull out the, 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 the thing that's clogging you. Why? He loves you. That's what he does. He heals the brokenhearted. He sets the captives free. He comforts those that mourn. That's why you need to know the love of God in his fullness. Because when you realize how his love works, there's no way, I don't care how badly you mess up, you never walk away from him. 
If he's the only good thing in your life, you got enough sense to know it. And you be steadily calling on him. While you're all messed up and dirty from a mess you made yourself. You know what side your bread is buttered on. And you're not going to leave him. Don't give up on yourself, you guys. Don't give up. Now is not the time for plopping down and wallowing. Now is the time for taking a bath, cleaning up, getting in God's presence, and going at it again. Stay in the game. Get back in the game. Whatever you got to do. But don't run away. Don't run away. Do not isolate yourself from the body of Christ. Mm. Don't lose hope. Don't faint. 